Hey crawlers, welcome back to another episode of the Minecraft Circuit Board, guys. And today we are going to be talking about the latest Redstone update, snapshot 1301 or 13W01B. Alright guys, here we are uh, with the new snapshot. There have been so many new added features and so many changes made to Redstone that I thought it would be a great idea to come in here and find out how this actually affects all of our circuits. Uh, and not only that guys, with the new additions to Redstone, uh, I feel I actually need a bigger circuit board because I believe that the new circuits are just going to explode. Of course, uh, you know, it had to start raining. Uh, so, yes, let's go ahead and get started with T flip flops. T flip flops uh, have to do with pistons, and pistons are supposed to be, uh, quote unquote, more stable. So far, they look to be a little bit more like the 1.2.5 uh, pistons, but let, let's go ahead and take a look at them. Um, you can see here that our standard ones are working. This is the same thing, just inverted. Uh, same one here. This is my design that uh, is just a, a vertical ascension. Um, here's another one, which seems to be working fine as well, just like it used to. Uh, this one right here also worked just like it used to. T flip flop so far, so good. Uh, this one right here, however, I don't remember it doing this little double pulse right here on this one, but it's possible it was doing that before. All right, now this is a tricky one, guys. If you guys remember, this is the uh, one Nodvik came up with. It's actually a uh, uh, triple flop. Uh, and I don't know why I don't have the name up here. It should be triple flop. Triple flop. We'll just put it. Oh, 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 calm down. We'll just put triple flop there. Okay, it's a triple flop. And. Uh, this doesn't work, and the reason this doesn't work is because these mono stables no longer work like they're supposed to. You guys can see here it is uh, the power is on the right. I press this button, power still on the right. Yes, uh, mono stables with the uh, with the repeaters set to three no longer work. I don't know why. It's not even a piston thing. It's a redstone thing. Um, however, we can still get the same effect with other monostables using pistons, and we'll show you that over there in the monostable section. All right, so basically what I'm trying to say, guys, is any of them made with a mono, standard monostable uh, is not going to work. Uh, this one still works. It's it's basic principle. It's still going to work. Um, this one still works, and this is what I was talking about, guys. This is basically a monostable as well, uh, but this one is one where the power is cut off by removing the the block. So, and then thus removing the block, it will then retract uh, or leave the leave the block there. You can see that here. So you leave that there. That pulses and that pushes right back down. So this one actually is not. It, it did do the little uh, mono stable thing, but this one actually works under a little bit different design. Uh, this one, same thing. This one actually does leave the thing there. That's how the mono stable works. Uh, this one is one that uses just redstone torches, no repeaters. So it's strictly just redstone torches. And this one, with the additional redstone torch to make it on the upward edge, also works just fine. Uh, this one also works. So, so far, bud switches, uh, even the tileable ones, doing really well. Uh, this one right here, also one that's cut, uh, you know, the power's cut off. This one right here is going to work as well. No issues there. This one, again, my favorite. It also uses the same thing, cuts off the power by using pistons. Works fine. And this one uses no pistons at all. It's a silent bud switch. And it uses just redstone repeaters and, uh, the torches. And that right there is going to work just fine as well. And I just realized this right here is pretty much just as big as this one. Yeah, it's pretty close. Uh, okay, so time set zero. Let's clear this up. Uh, okay, let's go ahead and hit our Oros Nor latches. Uh, these right here, the basic ones, are not going to be affected by uh, 
anything new. I mean, it's, it, the redstone still works in the same fashion, so these are not going to be affected. Uh, this right here, which I thought was actually going to be affected, uh, is not. Notice I pushed that away. That was still working just fine, and the same bug where if I remove this, that is still being powered with nothing on it, still there. Uh, all right, so this this one is actually not working right. This is uh, an RS. You guys can see this already. I've already done some testing. This is a uh, tileable, uh, or this is a, a RS Norlatch array, one of the first most compact ones you could find. And uh, you click one, and you can see that that one worked all right. Um, it's it really depends on which ones you're clicking after what. You notice right there, it just did like a little monostable pulse, pushed it out. I haven't done any testing to see if I can get this to work uh, any other way, but I'm pretty sure that if I were to change these repeaters, and this is just speculation, it'll make sure that it does not cause the double pulse. Oh, I, and I'm wrong. That's just pushing out right back in. I think I actually might have this the opposite way. I think it needs to go this way. Let's try that. And that that doesn't even work. So, uh, obviously it's not, not working too well. Oops. Let's go ahead and put all these back. Uh, so yeah, that's broken. Uh, our late our, our favorite arsenal lash is gone um, there's this one which has a set and reset not a compilable reset so it's not built in so if I click this one actually this is more like a bud switch isn't it no it's not because when I press the button it doesn't work uh, oh it has a set and reset so I have to press that one okay so arsenal latch that is uh, be able to set next to each other and this is the uh, the one with a reset has a reset in it. Let's see if this one works. Negative. It pulses. Might as well just be sending a, a pulse through. So that one does not look like it's working either. So that's broken. Uh, all right. So not looking good for RS no latches, the uh, tellable ones. Uh, let's go ahead and go over here to bud switches. Now this is an important one. Uh, this is the one I'm a little confused about because I'm hearing everyone talk about how broken they are. Um, I've already done some testing and so far pretty much all of them work. So I don't understand. Maybe I, I definitely don't have all of the bud flops or bud switches here. But basically block update detectors, which is what these are based off of, still work. You guys can see this is, this is working just fine. That one's working fine. Now this one was uh, the ever so popular silent bud switch. Uh, this one now does not work either way. This doesn't even pick up a connection. Uh, this one will pick up the connection. Oh, it didn't. Oh, it's not even picking up the connection now. It was before. Oops, that right there picked it up. Uh, but, oh wow. They must have fixed it in snapshot uh, 13 w one a it was actually still picking this up oh and then that, that's going off so yeah that's no longer working at all uh, this one we've already checked that's the same thing with the bud switches but it, it's powered by redstone so if you put uh, any sort of redstone device on here it is going to trigger it and it should work with all these I haven't checked it with the uh, com comp whatever uh, comparator uh, and that's working with the comparator too, um, but yeah, but yeah, pretty much anything that's that's redstone related should update that right there. Um, this is a bud flop and a bud switch, but right now it's bud floppy. Uh, this one works as well, works and works. So uh, bud switch is so far doing pretty good, uh, no real issues there. Uh, here's where our biggest issue is, guys, right here. Uh, mono stables. Uh, this is, uh, you know, the standard one you use. Um, well, I say standard, standard one I use. You click that, and we're getting nothing out of this sucker. It's it's supposed to uh, push the block up and leave the block. That's, that's what this is supposed to do. Uh, if we put this to one, nothing's going to happen. Two, nothing's going to happen. 
three it does that it's three it's supposed to pull it up uh, and leave it four just gives it another pulse um, this one same design just rearranged differently uh, this one is this one's different this one is the ones where the pistons are actually cutting off the power these ones still work and obviously that one is uh, by the down uh, downward edge this one by the upward edge and this one by the upward edge and all of these all the ones that are getting cut off by pistons seem to be working just fine you can see if that one's working this one's not going to work it's basically a redesign just a flat version of the ones in front so that sucker's not going to work this one same thing not going to work and this is the <coughs> <coughs> sorry guys still getting over being sick uh yeah this one's not updating that was just random that I hit it. Uh, yeah, I, this is really isn't showing anything. Uh, these should be running fine. These are the clocks. Still seem to be doing all right. Uh, these are five clocks. Again, redstone shouldn't be affecting that at all. Five clocks. Five clocks are looking good. Uh, this one is the infinity expandable multi-output one. Uh, I call it the Yama. No, I'm just kidding. Uh, actually, that'd be funny. Expandable multi output, the emo, emo circuit. That would. <laughs> that's funny. Uh, but yeah, anyways, that's working all right too. Uh, these are your standard clocks. The redstone should not be affected by this. Um, now this one is uh, a clock using the piston. Now this right here is going to work just fine. Okay, but when you move this into the realm of multi, multi uh, uh, rapid pulse generators, which is this is the same version as that, we go and click this sucker. Okay, basically, it's the same thing as that one, except the pulse is uh, basically just uh, infinite. It's, it's, it's timing is uh, without delay. That's basically what I'm trying to say. So technically, this sucker, when I pu pull it back, it should pulse rapidly but it, it's not it just shoots it right back out you can see that there uh now to make this rapid i not a God damn it uh there use that and a freaking weather it's been raining the new updates are crap man it just rains constantly oh horrible okay so if i release this it's go up oh, seeing right there it actually just shot it back out again too so, number two is going to have to be it. Like, you can't do, like, super rapid pulses with uh, the uh, pistons. Um, not in this aspect. Uh, there's a lot of different ways you can do them with pistons. Uh, but this one particularly is not going to work. Uh, okay. Now, what was I trying to say? I don't remember. Uh, but anyways. So, uh, yeah, so that's the, that's the rapid, another rapid pulse one. But, yeah, let's just put this back the way it should be. Right there. And, uh, next up is these rapid pulses. Let's see what this one looks like. Oh, spazzing. So, it's only shooting between these two front ones for some random reason. That's very weird. And it seems consistent. Left, right. Right, 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 left, 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 right, right, right. Ooh, that's interesting. It's very consistent. Hmm. Hmm, 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 So much for that being ra uh, random. That's not random at all. So that's kind of broken. Uh, wh where's my blocks? Oh, never mind. They're good. Uh, okay, so this is... I don't know. I don't think this is going to work, guys. Yeah, this, this is now broken. This is the uh, random pulse generator that I that I discovered, uh, and yeah, I don't think this little yeah, I, that's not gonna work. That's broken. Dang it! That that means my dice is just toasted. It ain't gonna work. Uh, pulse limiters and extenders. Uh, you would think that nothing would affect this, but uh, it actually does affect this. Um, that's the the single wide right there. Um, basically, this is just a pulse limiter. It's a mono stable, guys. These are mono stables. Uh, this is uh, the uh, example of button pulse length. 
So that's not really one. Uh, now, if you guys remember the episode I had out, basically you could, uh, because these, because these buttons are ten tick pulses, you could technically. Let me see. Did I get the right one? Yeah, ten tick pulses. Sorry, guys, my back is itchy. Okay, so we have uh, we have eight, nine, ten there, one up here. So I should be able to go eleven and be able to get a pulse. But you notice there, it jumped. And if you guys remember, it was doing that with this. When when we had it set to 10, and then we had this up here, this wasn't working. That was bad. We weren't supposed to use that. Now, this right here was supposed to work, but now we have to extend this out by another tick in order for it to work. Why didn't... What? That... Hold on, I'm shorten it. Oh, my bad. Sorry, guys. Shorten it by a tick. So instead of a, uh, 11, it's supposed to be 10 ticks. Yeah, there we go. Yeah, there you go. So now it's 10, and then this one right here reduces it. So it's like we, we can't make a 20 tick pulse. We can only make a 19 tick pulse out of that, which is stupid. Uh, and then this one, this one right here should work like this is 16. So uh, these are 15 tick pulses. So right here. The, the, this should work with that, but negative, so we have to shorten that one as well. So that's now a 29 tick pulse instead of a 30 tick pulse, which is what we should have been able to have. So this right here is actually going to be which you're going to want to use since we're already reduced to that anyways. So, yep. Uh, anyways, that's the same thing. And this right here, I don't know. If that, this should still work. Yep. Yeah, there it goes. <laughs> like, that's not right. Uh, okay. Mm, what's next? Uh, basic circuits should still be working. These, yeah, these should still be working. This one's the only really extravagant one. And Nodvix new one, single wide one, still working no problem. Uh... Let's move on over here. This is the uh, SAO equals uh, SA equals O circuit, and these are also working fine. Yes, there's no issues there, which means that the block updates, you know, this is two blocks from that, is still working just fine. No issues there. Again, this one's on a T flip flop, which the T flip flop is still working. Oop, my bad. Uh, and if I lock this up, then none of these will work. You guys don't remember that. Uh, my array here, I was really worried that this wasn't going to work. But nope, this is working out just fine. Oh, God dang it, I keep falling off. Of these. Yep, these are working fine, and the reset works fine. Okay, so for the most part, guys, uh, a few of the things are broken. In my opinion, nothing, like, extremely important is broken. So... I don't feel that Mojang has been messing with the redstone to the point where it's going to break most of our builds. If anything, I think that with all the new stuff, it's going to compensate for anything we've lost in in our recent builds. Uh, I know that there's some things that are broken uh, that were bugs that are now fixed. Uh, certain things that work along with block updates. Uh, along with that lines if you guys watch cube hamsters video he kind of goes through some of the uh, uh, some of the stuff that's no longer working sorry about that guys my cold uh but other than that i i, I think I, I really think that all the new changes and the new uh, the new stuff is going to completely outweigh any any of the of the broken stuff because we can now make things so much more compact with our with our new stuff and not only that more complex so um, i'm looking forward to what people have to build because um this this world's gonna fill up uh, big time you guys can see that i, I may need to expand it here <laughs> uh, but anyways guys that is it for me today uh, if there are any circuits that you guys would like posted on here or updated, please send me a pic or a video and I will put them in the world. Uh, if there is a, um, 
a type of circuit that I'm missing, you guys go ahead and just let me know and I will make sure to add a node for them and we'll, we'll throw it up there. All right, guys, as always, keep crawling and peace out. Peace out. Extends the duration.